One of the great things about these Baroque operas is that none of them are simple. Lovers get mistaken, people think who they are, they're in disguise, um, and the revelation of being in disguise, and who loves who, who thinks somebody else is loving their lover, and so on, of which the chief one in this is Ariadante. The story deals with Ariadante, a man who's fallen in love with the daughter of the King of Scotland, Ginevra. Um, however, he has a great rival, Polinesso, um, who tricks all sorts of people into all sorts of things. The king thinks by now that Ginevra is actually going off with Polinesso and is actually therefore unfaithful to Ariadante. So she has to get back into his favour. Meanwhile, she thinks she is going to be um, affianced uh, to Polinesso. Ariadante, thinking that everyone is betraying him, decides he will commit suicide. Well, actually he doesn't but they think he has committed suicide. Meanwhile, Polinesso, seeking now to bring the king back in line with him and eventually marry Ginevra and so on, manages to trick a whole lot of other people. So he turns out to be a really nasty piece of work, Polinesso. Eventually, Ariadante returns, and of course it's through his return that all the matters are set right, and eventually he gets the hand of Ginevra, Polinesso is seen off, and the king of Scotland is generally happy. Right. <laughs>